Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. Uh, after last video, I decided to do some off-camera mining real quick, and I just got myself some good gear, and uh, decided to build up the base a bit more, so. What's up guys, welcome back. Today, in this episode, we're just gonna be building a house and doing some other stuff. Uh, I'm gonna be showing a lot of clips of like me building the house, and uh, I'm also, before I do that, and sometimes during, I'm gonna be going to, down to the mine to uh, get some get some armor and tools and keep those in good shape. And uh, actually, while I was in the mine, uh, you'll see here soon, I found a mine shaft pretty soon, like into it pretty pretty early on in the, the digging of the mine, so that was lucky. I also thought it'd be fun to, during this episode, maybe try out some new music. So I found some music from the Eve soundtrack online. Uh, if you guys want, I can link that in like the description. Just let me know. Um, but yeah, just going to see how that works today.
kind of got interesting because down in this mine shaft I found a cave spider spawner and I was just trying to gather cobwebs at this point still for decoration later I would use it in my house and stuff and I thought I could you know handle this cave spider spawner and I just wanted to destroy it so I could keep exploring but it gets a little dangerous pretty quick
Here I was just minding my own business and then I was walking over a sapling and it grew up mm. and it took damage and I didn't even know what happened for a little bit. And then just a little bit later it happened again, like twice in mm. 20 minutes. gathering some more materials to build more of the house uh, and you can see this on the mini map if you look closely enough uh, I was being approached by a pillager while I was trapping down a tree and I heard him winding up his bow and I don't know, guys scared the crap out of me I ran back to the house and uh, just had to think of a game plan and a, the smart solution of well I, I did this later but using milk to you know get rid of the status effects voluntary exile that it gives you when you kill the bannerman uh, instead of doing that, I just panicked and killed him with uh, a little bit of a creative way that was not the best way, but it was what I could think of in the moment.
That was diabolical! Okay, um... This is ridiculous. So, I've already killed two raids like uh patrols right but this is four i think i see four over here so there's been six total that have spawned out here while i've been building my house is that five wait hold on one it looks like they're swimming towards the village too i can't quite tell i need to lock these dudes in their houses like really quick this is not good. They will not survive. Oh my gosh. There's some over there. Is there, a, there must be a pillager patrol, like a uh, watchtower. Oh my god, this is bad because if I kill any of the flag dudes in this radius of this village, it's gonna be game over, pretty much. Okay, I need to get these dudes. Uh, if I get him to kill him, then it will be chilling. Okay, so that's... These two guys are good. If I ring this bell, these guys should go back to their beds. Go back to your beds, quick. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna... Just gonna do that. Yeah, oh, I gotta do it again, because they're kicking out. I gotta block them in, because... Uh, I just can't trust them to not get murdered by a random pillager patrol. If there's this many just wandering around, I mean, that's seven now that I've seen on this world so far. And I've only been playing for... Um... Uh, Seven hours? Time played. Yeah, a little under seven hours. So that's more than one per hour, which I don't think I've ever seen that before. Take this flag, though. I don't think I've ever seen that. So high at all. Uh, these guys should be safe now. I wanted to try to keep this village like natural as much as I could, but I just can't risk it. I don't know where the next one is, and I uh, 
would really not enjoy finding another one and then having to do a lot more work getting close to my base. If they're so far away, I'm going to have to travel them in minecarts and boats and stuff for a long ways. And this one's just nice because it's really close. I made my base over here on purpose, my home. All right, they don't seem to care about the bell, so quick, 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 quick. All right, everybody's safe. Where's my boat? I think it's over here. Now, after all that computer control distractions over, what was I working on? I think. Hmm. Oh yeah, I was done with this floor. I was considering adding another cabinet, but. I think I'm just going to leave this how it is. I'm definitely going to put like four more, five and a half more chests in here. So like that, those three blocks will be filled and then two, 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 two. Yeah, I think that's good for this floor. I'm a big fan of the brick. I love this block. And then this resource pack that makes them like every couple bricks is like red or darker or whatever. I really like that. Oh yeah, and then uh, I think last night I was up here putting signs down, marking what I want stuff to be in the future. Stuff I don't really have materials for right now. I guess I could put this up there right now. Hold on. I have what plant do I want to put up there? I could probably do the armor stand too. I'm just too lazy right now. Uh, oh, we got this guy. Bricks. Okay, I'm gonna put the paper away. What flower should I put up there? Corn flower? That works. I think I use spruce shelf right in here. Yep. I could put the... Do I like the shelf there? No, I like it in the corner better. I don't like walking around the corner and like having stuff almost at your head, so that's why, that's why I'm gonna put the jukebox there and not here. And I didn't want to put the light there, so when you turn the corner, it'd be like jumping or something. I don't know, just going to make it feel a bit less kind of, like, closed off. I mean, you're not even going to be able to see this flower up here, but... Oh, I was wrong. You absolutely can. Alright, um, I'm done with this floor for now. Oh, what should I do with this banner, actually? I could put the banner, like, here? I kind of like that, actually. This room feels very bland right now. It's going to feel awesome when it's done. This room's, like, definitely decorated enough, I think, for my tastes. I could put the banner up here of the bed. Or I could just wait till the next one I get. I'm sure that won't be too long. Yeah, I'm going to move it in here for now. I like that. I like right there. That's good. All right. Maybe in the future I can replace them with banners that I make instead of ones I steal. How do I like that? So, I think I like this better. So, we'll have the fences here. The, maybe I'll add, like, actual logs here. Or what are we thinking? Actual logs there. Hmm. I don't like that. It looks weird because it's not the same height. I think I'll just stick to what I was going to do with the oak wood. Let me try this. Okay, so then, what was I going to make it like here? Also, I apologize. I can't always do like the best narration or just talking with you guys because uh, I live with roommates. So out of respect to them, I don't really record my voice while they're in the room. 
and most of the time when I'm in the room, they are too. So, um, most of my voice for these videos will be like post recording. I'll rec like I'll record the video, uh, but I'll, I'll be muted, and then I will watch it afterward and try to like. I mean, it'll probably be obvious from the way I'm talking about it when I'm doing it, but I'll be like narrating what's happening, kind of like a not exactly a sports announcer type way, but like, oh yeah, so then I built the house a bit more, and then I, you know, it's probably just gonna be like, hopefully with a little bit less monotone noise. <laughs> thing I barricaded all those villagers in their houses earlier because I came back you know several hours later after building some more of the house and the tree and stuff and I saw that giant wave of pillagers so I guess it finally they crossed the river and uh, they surely would have killed all the villagers and the golems if I hadn't done that so good we were prepared And that's everything. We finished the house, made a nice tree, did some decorations around the house, uh, defended the village from a ridiculous amount of pillager attacks, and I don't know, I think I think it went well. It was definitely fun making this house. I really like that roof. Um, and yeah, it's, you know, another good thing is we got bees, so that'll be useful for if I decide to build anything with a copper roof later. But anyway, I'm excited for the next episode. Got some good stuff planned, so see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.